Scheduling your booster is proving to be quite the task as booster shots grow in demand and new COVID-19 cases continue to rise. Thanks for joining us for the nightly check in. I'm Mark Mullen. Right now, booster shot appointments are not so easy to come by for many places offering the vaccine from county run sites to pharmacies. Some are booked out until the new year. The process was a little tricky, so we uh, so to, today I took a day off from work, right? It has not been very easy. Most of the areas requires an appointment. And so today, uh, taking a day off, uh, I, uh, it gave us a little bit of a, a latitude to go around searching for good places. San Diego County officials say at this time they are administering just over 10% of the vaccinations. Most are done at pharmacies and medical providers. Needless to say, snagging an appointment has proven to be a little bit more challenging during the holidays as demand is up. However, the county notes how they are able to say and recommend to people that walk-in appointments are available in many places, although you may have to wait in a line. And if you don't have the time to wait, Keep searching because you are likely to schedule one eventually on the computer if you are tenacious. All San Diego State students who live on campus as well as student athletes will be required to get a COVID booster shot by the start of the spring semester. SDSU says those students will need to have the booster shot on record with the university by January the 18th or they will be required to get a weekly COVID test. COVID vaccines were already required at SDSU unless students had a medical or religious exemption. We spoke to one SDSU student who said they think the university is doing a good job keeping students safe. The entire year we've taken a lot of precautions with we have to wear masks in class and I think that's really kind of made COVID not as big of a deal um, the campus side of things. I mean we're obviously um, around a lot of people. SDSU's policy on masks complies with a statewide indoor mask mandate that was rolled out this week. With rising cases, U.S. health officials are endorsing a policy that allows children exposed to COVID to stay in school if they test negative and do not show any symptoms. It is a way of preventing children from falling behind as COVID cases spike again. Today, the CDC released two studies that show the effectiveness of what is known as test to stay. The CDC conducted studies in two school districts. The one that used the strategy was able to prevent 8,000 missed school days. The other from Los Angeles County found schools that declined to use tests to save policies lost 92,000 school days. These studies demonstrate that test to stay works to keep unvaccinated children in school safely. We should add that in both studies, masks were worn consistently and close contacts of a positive case were monitored for symptoms and stayed home if they got sick. Earlier this week, we mentioned a new oil sheen that was spotted about two miles off Bolsa Chica State Beach. Investigators are now saying they know where it came from, an underwater pipeline, but they don't think it is the same one that caused that oil spill in the same area in October. They're still trying to find the exact source of this new leak as well as who owns the pipeline. The sheen is about 20 yards by 150 yards. It has been surrounded by surface booms and none of the oil has reached the shore, we understand, as of yet. It appears a recent storm in the Sierra has been a significant boost for the snowpack. Before the storm, the state said the snowpack was at 19% of normal. As of now, it is sitting at 98% of normal. Before we send off here your current temperatures, Dagmar has an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of our streaming app on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Have a good weekend.